Hi, dude. <laughs> if you are on uh, my mail list, uh, you know what it means. Um, so, hello, uh, I'm Alex Koloskov, uh, commercial photographer, founder of Fujis.com. Today, uh, I want to talk about uh, our tabletop uh, materials, tabletop surfaces, which we using to put, uh, well, our subjects on when we do tabletop photography. So, uh, I know that many of you guys, uh, when starting uh, to play with still life and with some products, uh, struggling probably um, selecting nice and um, interesting surface to, to place your product on. And I've been there, uh, I tried many different things and uh, most useful was uh, just a piece of uh, mineral glass painted from other side, like let's say uh, this little piece I have. Uh, regular glass, black matte uh, paint, air, air spray paint, and it gives a pretty nice and glossy surface uh, to shoot on. However, such glass uh, may give you double reflection because uh, the uh, top surface of the glass reflects uh, light and uh, internal uh, surface reflects the light as well. So in some cases uh, you may see double reflection like in a regular mirror, right? So what the best, what the best uh, thing to shoot on? It's a plexiglass. Plexiglass is a great, uh, it can be cut much easier than mineral glass, uh, can be cut to any shape and uh, it still may be quite expensive, but I'll show you what I recently got, so you probably uh, will benefit from it. So, you see, this kind of pieces of clear, it's relatively thick uh, plexiglass sheet is, well, this one cost about uh, $50. Actually, I cut about feet from it. It was a little bit too long for, I was using it to uh, shoot my class for Kelby 1, Kelby, Kelby training, and uh, I kind of was trailing with the thing. Uh, <laughs> I need to make it a little bit shorter, but you know, it works really great. It's it's amazing thing. The only uh, possible uh, drawback that uh, it's scratchable. It's relatively easy to scratch it, but if uh, if will be uh, accurate enough, we should be okay uh, to use it for a long, long time. And you see it has double uh, sides, of course, and uh, this other surface is the same as this one. It's clear, glossy, and I'm not removing uh, protective film to preserve it. So once uh, I get too many scratches over here, I can turn it, uh, peel off uh, that uh, film and start using the other side. Uh, let me show you another piece which I got recently is same material. I think it's maybe a little bit thicker. Uh, it's huge. It's like this. Uh, I didn't even uh, took off uh, protective film yet. And uh, well, honestly, I don't know <laughs> why it got so huge. I don't have uh, much stuff uh, that requires such a uh, big uh, table. But again, uh, it may be quite handy when needed. So I'm glad to have it in the studio. And uh, let me show you where I got it. Thanks to Joshua Geiger, uh, his commercial Atlanta photographer. He helps me a lot in studio and with educational stuff. He's one of uh, 40G Pro Corner authors. And uh, let me show you what I have over here. No, here. So this is where I got it. This is where I bought uh, this uh, plastic and Joshua showed me this website. You see uh, eplastics.com, uh, I have uh, nothing to do with them. Uh, I, I wish I can be affiliated, <laughs> So, uh, but uh, I just showing you guys. Uh, they have all kind of different plastics and uh, if you go to plexiglass, uh, let's say frosted uh, uh, plexiglass and uh, there are different thicknesses, uh, different 
finish. Well, this one frosted, uh, there is uh, clear and black and white plexiglass, which is glossy. Uh, and actually, this is exactly what I uh, got uh, some of this. <coughs> uh, you can see different thickness, uh, different sizes. And th the only thing shipping cost a lot. Uh, I paid over $100 to ship these two pieces to the studio. It's from San Diego, California, so it takes time. But, you know, let me, uh, let me show you really quick how it works. You know, just uh, one of examples how cool and easy to shoot with this uh, plastic. And before, uh, let me show you how I mount this uh, on the table. So what I got is this, right? Uh, just piece of uh, basically shell uh, from some furniture, uh, which I don't need anymore. I uh, fixed this uh, Avenger. No, it's impact. It's impact wall plate, baby pin, which uh, gets right inside uh, the stand I have. And uh, I use double-sided tape double-sided tape which holds this on the place quite well uh, again uh, i still want to be able to easy you know remove it and place different sheet and different color so double-sided tape is a great uh, thing for me to do this and uh, anything placed on such table looks really good because you see it's glossy it's black, but you can easily turn to any color uh, using reflection. Whatever reflects on that uh, surface can be colored if you use the background. The background is uh, like I have um, there just a white translucent plastic. And let's see how it will work for this little hero. For this little hero which we have. Uh, really easy lighting setup. One light here, one light over there, kind of hair light and main light uh, to get some nice reflection. And uh, one light behind, uh, highlighting, creating spot on that white plastic. Let me do a shot and I'll show you what we will happen. Whoa. Not sure <coughs> why it gets like this, but here we go. You see that spot on the background which we have there is reflected on the clear plastic. So we can turn uh, that black to white if, let's say, I would use more light and a uh, larger spot behind, right? And uh, we have nice reflection. It's not as visible as we, if you would use... Uh, uh, mirror or glass and it's still quite nice right and almost anything can can be well let's say this Google Glass nice Google Glass let's shoot Google Glass uh, position it in exactly same spot and just for the sake of the shot quick shot You see, nice reflection, uh, which kind of shows, let's say, uh, on the reflected, we have this highlight on the bottom. You see this uh, uh, reflection on the glass. We don't have this reflection here. So it's real. It's not like what you can do in Photoshop. And uh, it's quite nice and uh, I would say easy to use this shooting table. Black plexiglass. Uh, what else, I mean, what the other way to, if let's say you don't have any, well, you can order uh, from eat plastics and for some reason it's not on uh, your local shops, uh, I mean stores. Uh, do like I did a long time ago, uh, just uh, paint glass with some matte air spray 
very uh, fine and thick film, actually several films. And uh, if we would place it, let's say, on the same spot here, okay, you'll see the difference. Sometimes, depending on the angle, there is no difference. Okay, well, of course, some blemishes and uh, not clear glass, but you see, uh, we're still getting on the uh, painted mineral glass a uh, pretty uh, similar picture, and there is no double reflection because uh, the angle we shoot relatively low. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, next time, I'll tell you a little bit more uh, about uh, lighting. Uh, and I'm sure you'll like it because it won't be about strobes, it won't be about uh, expensive lighting, it will be about something which you can get on any store and I'll show you what you can do with that uh, lighting. Subscribe to YouTube Fortigy channel and make sure uh, to catch uh, that video. And also visit Fortigy.com to learn secrets of studio product photography. Bye!